government in Benue State has provided over 1,000 displaced farmers with agricultural inputs to help boost food production in the region. During a presentation in Nagasha, the president of the Association of United Farmers, Benue Valley, Dennis Denin Otsa, stated that soy tests conducted by the association have shown, the, shown that the area is good for farming. And because of the commitment of the youth and women, they are hard working people. And we believe that when we empower them, they will do better and they will do more. They are committed farmers. However, they have been affected by the Pakistan attacks in various communities. Most of them have, have fled to Agasha town. This project is one of the projects that we rehabilitate in the agriculture sector. With this project, they will gradually recover from the loss. We so far started with cassava. We providing rice for 44, which is less than three months for them. We have the seed. These are the seedlings that we have provided for them. On behalf of his people, the traditional ruler of the area, Samuel Gare, expressed appreciation for the gesture and promised that the community would embrace the scheme as it had the potential to improve their economic fortunes if properly utilized. My advice to my youth is that they should embrace agriculture. Things we want the government to do, if you work on the farm, the produce you get, you must get a good road. Your roads will be motivated. So we expect the government to provide a good roads for us so that we can transport this farm produce to our various uh, destinations so that it will feed the nation at large. We are in a with what is going on. Our people have feed into so many pro uh, programs like this. None has yielded the result like the one we are seeing today. So I don't know whether it's because maybe the, uh, the chairman or the coordinator is a uh, son in law. He has done it very well, and I think my people will embrace it wholeheartedly. In an interview, the local youth leader James Andemba Timve stated that the Kambe and Nongov communities have long valued and found success in farming practices over the past years. Our correspondent Francis Ter reports that the donated items included bags of soybeans, maize, millet, rice, cassava stems, and various order of various agricultural chemicals. With the youth of Kambi and Nongov in general, we love and appreciate Jerry's family very well. We, we have been involved in so many of the NGO programs here and they have been successful. So we pray and we hope that this one too will be a successful program. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.